Hey guys, Cube Hamster here, back with uh, a new video. It's been a couple weeks since I uploaded something uh, that was due to me going on holidays. Uh, went to Gamescon in Cologne, which was amazing. Um, and the school has started again, which means I can only do this sort of stuff uh, on the side. But uh, I'm back here now, uh, and I'd like to present to you guys the Scimitar uh, Assault Bomber, uh, kind of in the style as uh, of Mega Gargantua. Uh, it's a, a controllable flying machine. It's one directional with a start and stop mechanism and uh, adjustable firepower, reloadable, tremendous firepower, and you can basically uh, toggle uh, one of two bomb launchers um, and like the explosive force you could technically put in those bomb launchers is kind of ridiculous. Um, so the idea is you can uh, start it up by triggering this piston. You can also do that from the boat. And then uh, if you feel like you've uh, reached your destination, you trigger it and it stops. It's a time-based trigger mechanism. You, it, like the idea is, you immediately click it after this piston moves forward, and then once you feel like, uh, yeah, yeah, like blowing something up, uh, at the moment, I'm, 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 what I'm about to show you is complete overkill. Uh, but I've got uh, TNT minecarts in here. Uh, there is like 200 or something in there um, that you can, um, yeah, basically fire. The, they are standing on. Uh, unpowered powered rails and uh, this entire segment looks kind of huge but this is all necessary to move them forward seeing as you can't actually physically move normally move rails with uh, pistons you, you, you might think you could but you can't like they just break um, the reason I can though is using a what is called a zero a zero tick uh, generator uh, I will link uh, uh, a video to uh, um, yeah someone else explaining it. Um, but yeah, like it's a, a movable zero tick generator, which is a, a first, um, and that allows me to uh, to move them. But uh, let's just get to the explosive part. So this is 200 TNT mine cards. If you were standing there, you'd be very, very screwed right now. Um, let's reset that. And yeah, I've got another one here. Uh, in a moment, I will show you some test footage uh, of me uh, like testing the, the explosive power of this bomber with some guys from the uh, ship crowd server and with uh, Mary the Lapis Demon, uh, where we test uh, like what will happen with protection for armor uh, if you use uh, smaller amounts of TNT minecarts, and we'll be testing like around 10, 20, 30 uh, TNT minecarts. Uh, and we will also be testing over a thousand TNT minecarts, uh, which is what I like to call uh, an EMP bomb. Um, but yeah, let's fire this one as well. Get another crater. Very, very nice. Um, now, furthermore, what you have, you have movable storage. Um, like th the thing is, in survival, you cannot stack uh, minecarts with TNT. So, like what I went for is uh, just having TNT and then iron blocks and a crafting table, so you can just quickly and you can quickly uh, craft uh, the TNT minecarts. And if you want to uh, reload this, uh, all you have to do is you have to place two rails here. And uh, you just stack them, and like uh, depending on how many you want. I'm gonna go with uh, ten, and uh, then you can remove these. Uh, I'll leave the other one for what it is, and um, yeah, we can continue moving again. Uh, what I'm about to show you is extremely risky. Uh, it is possible, but you have to be very, very careful. Like it's not advisable. So this might blow up. But you can technically also fire uh, while this thing is moving, but it is it is extremely risky. But let's try it anyway. So this this will probably blow up, but we'll see what happens. No, no, it didn't. Wow. Cool. So like you can see, the the crater is a bit smaller, but that was only 10 TNT minecarts, and it's still kind of ridiculous. And even with protective four armor, uh, which you'll see in a moment. Um, you'd be pretty, pretty screwed. But uh, yeah, let's skip to the uh, 
uh, testing footage. Okay, I'm here with uh, with Panda now. He's uh, helping me test uh, the Skimitar. Uh, we have 20 TNT mine cards loaded right now. Uh, I am wearing Protection 4 armor. Uh, we'll also test the Blast Protection 4 armor and uh, let's see what the results are. Ready when Should you I are. Fire the bomb? Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I got deleted. An ominous sound, please. <laughs> okay, now we're firing 20 again from the other bombing bay, uh, but I won't be like taking them to the face. I'll stand a bit to the side. Let's see what happens. And there we go, fire! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't have featherfall boots. Th those might have saved me, but like I flew very far. <laughs> okay, doing a new test with uh, a new set of blast protection for unbreaking three armor, and Panda has 25 TNT minecarts loaded. So let's see what happens. Firing. Whoa! <laughs> I'm so high! Oh my god! <laughs> I flew like 200 blocks into the air. <laughs> oh, but it didn't kill me instantly though. It got me down to like half, uh, like I was half dead. <laughs> oh, I want to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're doing another uh, another test uh, with 30 minecart TNTs. Let's, like I'll I'll try landing, like having it land a bit next to me. See what happens. All right, firing. <laughs> 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 Okay, we're doing another test, but with a bit less TNT minecarts. Only 10 now, and I'm wearing protection 4. Ready when you are. Fire! Oh! <laughs> okay, so protection 4, not so good against the uh, bomber. You look like, like a rocket, like a sky rocket. <laughs> uh, flying away. Okay, so this time I will be the one firing the bombs, and we got Ground, JL, Mary, and Panda here. They are my victims. Hey, hey. <laughs> Lucky victims. Lucky victims. Yes, yes. Okay, ready or not, here it comes. And, and <laughs> I just saw you guys fly off into the distance. Oh, <laughs> that must have looked uh, nice. Oh, it was ah, awesome. I would have, maybe I would have survived with feather falling. But <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I had one heart when I was in, in the air. And you guys? <laughs> four. four. But I, I died immediately that because I jumped up and catched the TNT minecart with my head. Oh, <laughs> four. Nice. Okay, um, now we're going to test what I like to call the EMP. Uh, we have over a thousand mine, mine cards here. And yeah, if you, this is multiplayer and let's just see what happens. Oh, no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, what's happening? I'm not sure what's going on right now. My game just completely froze. Okay, I see it said I blew up, but I still see it. It's weird. Nah, it's uh, I'm not, not doing anything for me. My my screen is just. Oh my god. No, no, it's I don't still processing for me. I don't see the explosion yet. Yeah. Oh, the the test is essential. It's gonna go on. Oh, oh, oh! I connection lost. EMP successful. <laughs> <laughs> Said uh, that uh, I was blown up, but I still could could see it. Like 
it was a huge delay. <laughs> the lava falling in in the when when uh, you guys blew up the Nether <laughs> perimeter. Cool. Oh, cool. The yeah. server actually crashed. I got a crash report there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. EMP successful. <laughs> oh, yeah. You need to assign well. more memory. Okay, we're back and we're doing a new test. Uh, we assigned a lot more memory to the server now, so hopefully we will actually see something happen. Instead of two gig, we now have like 16 gigabytes of memory assigned. Uh, so let's see what happens. Oh, the noise. <laughs> it's splitting up on my screen. Yeah, it is. <laughs> My screen froze. Oh, I'm watching a slideshow. I see raining minecarts. I also. Yeah, Still well, processing no. the explosions. Uh oh. Oh dear. Well. Uh, my screen, it's just a uh, screenshot. <laughs> I see hovering minecarts. <laughs> Still no explosion. Oh, oh I oh. crashed. Oh. oh. Yeah, but the server keeps on running. Okay, the server keeps on running. Well, but it doesn't really work if you are our, our um, clients. Right. Yeah, well, I oh. mean, it's uh, actually there to is some in. crash report or something in the server. Oh, yeah, oh EMP strikes again! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Panda did more stuff to the server to make it not crash. I have no idea what he's done, but maybe it works. Here Broke we go. Enough. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> My god, slowly. Whoa, it's like all the. Mi I, I, I see like a billion minecart <laughs> entities dropping on the floor. Like. It's oh, like so up. Oh, oh, it actually does stuff! I hear wow. something! Whoa, wow. whoa, whoa, I hear something! Whoa. I got blown away and I'm watching a slideshow. It's a really nice Dia show here. Whoa! I am whoa. really far away! It's Holy right shit! <laughs> whoa! I'm above the clouds the now. The I wasn't even close to the explosion, I got oh, knocked away. The sound. I have this. <laughs> I'm in the void. Oh wow. Oh, oh you're in the, the void? Whoa! I it's am. Uh, I got blown I like. Know. I got blown two or two thousand blocks away or more. <laughs> Things are loading again. Um, yeah, I'm back at the explosion. The crater is pretty yeah. deep this time. It's definitely larger than all the previous craters. Um, <laughs> nice work. Oh yeah, this time it worked. Nice. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll teleport you. Uh, yeah, can you teleport me as well? So, uh, here we go. So that's oh. the wow. you get from roughly 1,000 TNT minecarts, were a bit more. <laughs> we have to increase the, the uh, stack, the size of the stack oh, on, no. on the server. I think I think some of the I think some of the TNT minecarts like exploded above, yeah, uh, like on my screen. Yeah, most of them. Most of them yeah. I blown, uh, exploded above, and I was actually pushed into one of the corners here, so the blast was pushing me downwards. That's why I couldn't fly away, and I just saw one. I don't know, like like 30 seconds non-stop of. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> and just uh, just saying, the sound was <laughs> incredible. <laughs> okay. Ah, like yep. I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize you, you also get blown away. Like I was just flying in creative, <laughs> and I got blown thousand blocks away. Didn't, you, didn't even know yeah, you could do you that. Yeah, got blown away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nine hundred blocks away from here. But yeah, that worked very well. Cool. Nice. Like, what did you do to the server, though? Like, oh, we we increased the, the uh, size of the stack um, because that what was overflowing. Okay. Um, so yeah. I have no <laughs> idea what that means, but I believe you. Well. <laughs> you don't have to explain, you don't have to explain, I'm good. <laughs> okay, so much for all the test footage. Uh, there's one thing that I would like to show you guys uh, before I end the video, because there's one more function on this thing, uh, and that is that it's basically also a, uh, a hole making machine or a movable hole making machine. Uh, what you can do is um, if you place the uh, powered rails like this and you power the rail below, uh, what you can do is you can very easily uh, make a hole all the way down to bedrock uh, for mining or to uh, get access to an underground base. Uh, but as you can see, it, uh, 
I mean, it does consume a lot of TNT, but uh, it's it goes quite fast. There we go. We reached bedrock already. Um, so yeah, um, so much for this video. Uh, like, if you want to uh, help give this video more exposure, uh, you can uh, leave a like on the video. Uh, this will be up for download, schematic, and world file on Planet Minecraft. You can leave a diamond there uh, to help me out. And like always, if you're new to my, my channel, be sure to subscribe for uh, future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.